Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use definition of continuity to check if a function is continuous at a point or is not continuous or actually is discontinuous at the point. We say function f is continuous at a number like a if f of a is defined. What this means, that, that f of a is defined? This means that the number a should be in the domain of the function f. So, this means that a is in the domain of function f. So, this is the first condition for continuity of a function at a point. The second condition is that the limit of the function when x approaches a should exist and this is the second condition for continuity of a function the limit of the function should exist which means that actually the left limit and the right limit of the function should exist and be equal to each other you will understand this better when we do some examples and this third condition for the continuity is that the limit of the function which exists from part b from the second part should be equal to the f of a the value of the function at that point f of a and if all of these three conditions be true for the function all of these three conditions satisfies for a function then that function is continuous at that point you can understand this much better by doing some examples let me show you the first example consider this function f of x equals to x to the 2 plus x when x is greater than 1 if x equals 1 the function is 3x minus 4 and when x is less than 1 the function is a square root of 1 minus x so attention here we have a piecewise function piecewise function is a function that doesn't have one single rule it has different rules based on the value of x as you can see when x is greater than 1 we have one rule when x equals 1 we have another rule and when x is less than 1 we have this rule so for different values of x we have different equations different rules for our function f of x what we want to do we want to check if this given function is continuous at 1 or not so this is the question we are given this function and we want to check if this given function is continuous at 1 or not if you remember from definition of continuity first you have to check to see if f of a which in this case a is 1 is defined or not so we have to see if f of 1 exists is defined or not so let's see what is f of 1 when x equals 1 if you attention to here the second rule when x equals 1 f of x equals to this equation so you have to use this equation for finding f of 1 if simply you plug in 1 in that equation f of 1 would be 3 times 1 minus 4 which is 3 minus 4 and it equals negative 1 so f of 1 is defined or not yes it is defined and its value is negative 1 so the first condition of continuity is satisfied by this function so the first condition is satisfied what was the second condition the second condition is that limit of your function when x approaches a which again in this case a is 1 should exist so we have to check if limit of this function so we have to check if limit of f of x when x approaches 1 exists or not but attention 
to the equation of f of x. When x is greater than 1, we have this equation. When x is less than 1, we have completely different equation. Between these two equations, which one we have to use to find limit of f of x? When x approaches 1, we know that x can approach 1 from the right and from the left. x is close to 1, but it can be greater than 1 or less than 1. When x is greater than 1, we have this equation. When x is less than 1, we have different equation. So actually, for finding limit of the function f of x when x approaches 1, you have to use this rule here. When x approaches 1 from the right, you have to use the other rule, the third rule here. When x approaches 1 from the left, you have to separate this limit to the right and to the left. We are going to find first limit from the right, limit of f of x when x approaches 1 from the right. When x approaches 1 from the right, x is greater than 1. So we have to use the first rule for f of x, x2 plus x. And this is a very simple limit. By direct substitution, you can find this limit. What is limit of x to the 2 plus x when x approaches 1? Simply plug in 1 for x here and here. 1 to the 2 plus 1, it would be 2. So right limit of f of x when x approaches 1 exists and it equals 2. Now we have to find limit of f of x when x approaches 1 from the left. So we want to find limit of function f of x when x approaches 1 from the left. Now we can use this rule for finding the limit. Because x approaches 1 from the left, x is close to 1 but less than 1, so we use the third rule. And again here, for finding this limit, simply if you plug in 1 here, it would be square root of 1 minus 1, which is 0. So, so by for finding this limit, direct substitution works, and you don't need to do any technique for finding these limits. Now, what was again the second condition? The limit of the function should exist. But we know that when the right limit, which in this case is 2, and the left limit, which for this function is 0, are different, look at this, the right limit is 2, the left limit is 0. What we can conclude? We can conclude that the function at that point has no limit. Limit does not exist. So from these calculations that we did here, we can conclude that limit of this given function when x approaches 1 does not exist. So this means what? This means that this function doesn't satisfy this condition. If a function is continuous, limit should exist. But here we notice that this function has no limit when x approaches 1. Limit does not exist. So, we don't need to check the third condition because the second condition is not satisfied. Here, immediately from this, we can conclude that this function is not continuous at 1. So, f of x, from this we can conclude that f of x is not continuous at the given point, which is 1. Let's review this question. We were asked to check if this function is continuous at 1 or not. First, we checked f of 1 and we got a value for f of 1. It was negative 1, so it's defined. So it satisfies the first condition of continuity. f of 1 is defined and is negative 1, so it satisfies the second condition. But as you see, as you can see here, F limit of f of x when x approaches 1 does not exist. So it doesn't satisfy the second condition of continuity. So f of x is not continuous at 1. Let me show you another example. Now look at this function. f of x is given by these equations. 2 to the x when x is greater than 0. When x equals 0, we are given 1 minus x. And when x is less than 0, the given function is 1 plus x plus x to the 2. We want to check if 
this given function is continuous at zero or not so the given point the point that we want to check the continuity is zero why we are interested to check the continuity of this function at zero because look at here the condition the equations for f of x changes at zero when x is greater than zero we have one equation equal zero another equation less than zero and so the point of interest for this function is zero that's the reason we are asked to check the continuity at zero because the rules look at here the rules are changing about point zero and that's the reason we want to check continuity also at that point similar to the first example we start with f of zero we want to check if the function is defined at zero or not as you can see here when x is zero we have to use this equation if i plug in simply zero for x f of zero would be one and this shows that the function is defined at zero so it satisfies the first condition for continuity now we have to check the second condition of continuity what was that limit of f of x should exist but again we cannot find this limit just like this limit f of x, x approaches zero because we have different rules about zero greater than zero one rule less than zero another rule so we have to find right limit and left limit separately like this limit of f of x when x approaches zero from the right and limit of f of x when x approaches zero from the left for from the right we are going to use the first equation 2 to the x when x approaches zero if you plug in zero for x 2 to the zero is one so the limit exists and is one what about left limit when x approaches zero from the left if you simply plug in zero here in this expression you are going to have one plus zero plus zero to the two which is one as you can see right limit and left limits both exist and they are equal to each other this shows that the function f of x has a limit at zero limit exists what is limit of f of x when x approaches zero it equals one because left limit and right limit are equal to each other and they both of them are one so the limit exists and equals one so the second condition of continuity is also satisfied now so far this function has passed two condition for continuity what was the third condition of continuity if you remember it's here the third condition is that limit of f of x when x approaches a should be equal to f of a let's see is the third condition also satisfied by this function by this given function or not look at this what was f of 0 f of 0 is 1 what was limit of f of x when x approaches 0? it's also 1 so as you can see limit of f of x when x approaches 0 is equal to f of 0 so the third condition of continuity is also satisfied by this function so what we can conclude we can conclude that this function is continuous at zero so based on our calculations limit of f of x when x approaches zero is equal to f of zero and again this is one this is also one so they are equal to each other obviously and because they are equal to each other the third condition of continuity is also satisfied and so f is f of x is continuous at zero now look at this example we are given this function f of x is equal to x to the 2 minus x 
all over x minus 1 when x not equal 1 and when x equals 1 f of x is 1 plus x to the 2 so we are given this piecewise function and we are asked to check the continuity of this function at can you guess the number that we want to check continuity the number that we want to check continuity of this function is 1 we want to see if this given function is continuous at 1 or not first we check f of 1 we want to see if 1 is in the domain of this function or not when x equals 1 as you can see here we have to use this rule if I plug in 1 in that equation I am going to get 1 plus 1 to the 2 is 1 plus 1 it equals 2 so f of 1 is defined and it equals 2 so the first condition is satisfied now we want to find the limit of this function when x approaches 1 compare this equation here with the previous examples here when x approaches 1 we don't have two equations we have just this single equation attention to this condition here x when x is not equal 1 means what means that if x is greater than 1 or if x is less than 1 use this equation as long as x is not 1 so means that x is greater than 1 or if x is less than 1 use this rule so we don't have two separate rule for less than 1 and greater than 1 we have just one single rule rule when x is not 1 so it's not necessary to find the left limit and right limit separately like the previous examples so for finding this limit we can do it at once the limit x approaches 1 of x to the 2 minus x over x minus 1 doesn't need to find right limit and left limit separately but the problem here is that direct substitution doesn't work to find this limit if you want to plug in 1 for x the numerator simply you can see is 0 because it's going to be 1 minus 1 and the bottom is 1 minus 1 is 0 over 0 so direct substitution doesn't work for finding this limit what we can do if you look at the numerator and denominator what we can do with the numerator simply factor x it's obvious that you can do this if you pull out x then we have x minus 1 now by comparing numerator and denominator you can see the common factor between numerator and denominator x minus 1 cancels from the top with the bottom so we have x from the top and nothing actually or 1 from the bottom now if we plug in 1 for x in numerator we are going to have this limit so limit of f of x when x approaches 1 exists as you can see and it equals 1 so this function also satisfies the second condition of continuity but this function actually has a problem what is that problem that makes this function not continuous limit of f of x when x approaches 1 is 1 but f of 1 as you can see here is 2 so the reason that this function is not continuous is that it doesn't satisfy the third condition of continuity we can write because limit of f of x when x approaches 1 is not equal to f of 1 again attention what was this limit 1 what is f of 1 2 because these are not equal to each other so f of x is not continuous at 1 I hope by watching this video you have learned how to use the definition of continuity to check the continuity of a function at the given point.